A, B and C are points on the circumference of a circle, centre row. A, O, B is a diameter of the circle. Prove that angle A, C, B is 90 degrees. You must not use any circle theorems in your proof. So the first thing we can do is split this triangle into two. And then we can label up these angles X and Y. Now because AOB is the diameter of the circle, then this means that line AOB must be a straight line. And because angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, this means that X plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. Now because AOB is the diameter of the circle, then this means that AO, OC and OB are all half the length of the diameter, making them a radius, and therefore making them equal in length. So what this means is that both of these triangles are isosceles triangles. Now if we want to prove that angle ACB, which is this one here, is 90 degrees, we'll need to work out what angle CAB is and work out what angle ABC is. And we can do this in terms of X and Y. So if we start off with angle CAO, because this is an isosceles triangle, angle CAO is equal in size to angle ACO. So this means that 2 multiplied by angle CAO plus X is equal to 180 degrees. And if we minus X from both sides, this gives us that 2 multiplied by angle CAO is equal to 180 minus X degrees. And if we divide both sides by 2, this gives us that angle CAO is equal to 180 minus X divided by 2 degrees. So we can write this into our diagram. And if we use the same process for angle ABC, in which angle OCB and angle OBC are equal, then this makes angle ABC equal to 180 minus Y divided by 2 degrees. So now what we have is 2 out of 3 of the angles on this triangle. And because angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, when we add together angle CAB, angle ABC and angle ACB, this will give us 180 degrees. So the first thing we can do is write this into a different form so that it is easier to rearrange. So 180 minus x divided by 2 can be written as 90 minus x over 2. And then 180 minus y divided by 2 can be rewritten as 90 minus y over 2. And if we collect all the like terms, this gives us that 180 minus x over 2 minus y over 2 plus angle ACB is equal to 180 degrees. Now the next thing we can do is factor out negative a half from this negative x over 2 minus y over 2. And what this gives us is 180 minus a half multiplied by x plus y plus angle ACB is equal to 180 degrees. Now if we look back at the start of the question, we showed that x plus y was equal to 180 degrees. So we can substitute this into the equation which we've formed. So when we substitute this in, this gives us 180 minus a half multiplied by 180 plus the angle ACB is equal to 180. So next we can expand out these brackets and this gives us 180 minus 90 plus the angle ACB is equal to 180. 
And then if we put all of the numerical terms onto one side of this equation, this tells us that angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees. And that is our final proof. Now this question's worth four marks. We'll get one mark for splitting this triangle into two separate triangles. We'll get our second mark for showing the sum of the angles at point O in terms of X and Y. We'll get our third mark for a complete method showing that angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees. And we'll get our fourth mark for all the correct reasoning.